The theories of energy by Nikola Tesla have been revolutionary, to say the least. Nikola Tesla, the man widely regarded as a genius in the wild, had made some shocking discoveries during his lifetime that would leave people shocked. Often dubbed as a man way ahead of his time, his theories that took elements from science and religion crafted an ideology of possibilities that would lead humanity light years forward in evolution. What were these discoveries? How is religion related to them? Join us as we dive into the world of Nikola Tesla and his insight into the world of scientific discoveries. Science versus religion? Tesla had been labeled a man of science for the longest time, but one thing that people do not know about him is that he was not conventional in his approach to religion. Like many others, people reasonably had the idea that Tesla too would have a certain aversion to religion and anything related to it, as shown by many other science enthusiasts. However, Tesla was not just eccentric for his hobbies and a strange passion for pigeons. No, his eccentric antics made him more susceptible to the quest of finding meaning in everything. That includes religion. Tesla, with his bizarre yet brilliant mind, did not look at the stories of the Bible as forgotten and fictionally spun tales of myths and legends. He wanted to see the reason and possible theories behind the miracles shown in the Bible and possibly use them to ponder on the meaning and functioning of the universe. He was a spiritually led man on the down low, and this spirituality made him draw some interesting connections between religion, science, and mysteries of the universe. What were these connections? What fascinating conclusions did he draw during his lifetime? To find out about his discoveries, we first need to understand what events in his life led him to those discoveries. History of Tesla Born on the night of July 9th or 10th, 1856 in Smiljan, which was then part of the Austrian Empire and is now today's Croatia, Tesla was a Serbian-American inventor and engineer. Picture this, a brilliant mind who discovered and patented the rotating magnetic field, the backbone of most alternating current machinery. Intrigued yet? He didn't stop there. Tesla also came up with the three-phase system of electric power transmission, revolutionizing how electricity could be distributed. Now, imagine Tesla's journey from a simple man to the genius he is now regarded as. In 1884, he packed up his dreams and moved to the United States. With little more than pocket change and a head full of ideas, he sold the patent rights to his alternating current system to none other than George Westinghouse. By 1891, Tesla had invented the Tesla coil, an ingenious induction coil that's still used in radio technology today. Tesla's roots were deeply Serbian. His father was an Orthodox priest, and though his mother had no formal education, she was exceptionally intelligent. It's no wonder Tesla grew up with a mind brimming with creativity and a flair for the poetic. Despite such great genetics and gifts of intelligence, there was a twist. Tesla was a bit of a lone wolf. He kept only a few close friends, including literary giants like Robert Underwood Johnson, Mark Twain, and Francis Marion Crawford. His genius did not give him the money mind as he wasn't the best with money and had some eccentric habits, including a progressive germ phobia. Tesla's academic route and its subsequent destination were equally fascinating. He studied engineering at the Technical University in Graz, Austria, and the University of Prague. It was in Graz that he first encountered the Gram Dynamo, a device that could function both as a generator and a motor. This encounter sparked his revolutionary idea of harnessing alternating current. Then, in Budapest, the principle of the rotating magnetic field came to him in a flash of inspiration, leading to his creation of the induction motor, which was his first major step in the AC revolution. In 1882, Tesla took his talents to Paris, working for the Continental Edison Company. A year later, while in Strasbourg, he constructed his first induction motor after hours. But it was in 1884 that Tesla truly embarked on his American adventure, arriving in New York with just four cents, a few poems, and plans for a flying machine. He initially worked for Thomas Edison, but the two inventors were like oil and water, destined to part ways. Then, the arrival of May 1888 brought about George Westinghouse, the head honcho of Westinghouse Electric Company in Pittsburgh, deciding to buy the patent rights to Nikola Tesla's groundbreaking polyphase system of alternating current dynamos, transformers, and motors. 
This move kicked off a monumental power struggle between Edison's direct current systems and the Tesla Westinghouse alternating current approach. Who eventually came out on top? That's right, the Tesla Westinghouse team eventually triumphed. With this victory, Tesla set up his own laboratory which then became his playground for his inventive genius. Here he dabbled in all sorts of fascinating experiments. One of his early projects involved shadow graphs, similar to those Wilhelm Röntgen would later use to discover X-rays in 1895. But Tesla didn't stop there. He also worked on a carbon button lamp, delved into the mysteries of electrical resonance, and explored various types of lighting. Now, here is the perfect demonstration of his lawful eccentric behavior. To calm people's fears about the safety of alternating currents, Tesla would light lamps by letting electricity pass through his own body during demonstrations in his lab. Can you imagine anyone going to such lengths? No wonder he was frequently invited to lecture both in the US and abroad. His invention of the Tesla coil in 1891, which is still used today in radios, TVs, and other electronic equipment, is just one highlight of his illustrious career. That same year, Tesla became a US citizen, and in 1893, Westinghouse used Tesla's alternating current system to light up the world's Columbian Exposition in Chicago. This key event played a significant role in securing the contract to install the first power machinery at Niagara Falls. By 1896, this project was sending power all the way to Buffalo, with Tesla's name and patent numbers proudly displayed. Then, in 1898, Tesla unveiled something truly ahead of its time a teleautomatic boat guided by remote control. As with everything, this garnered suspicion and skepticism. When skeptics did what they always do, which is doubt his invention, Tesla demonstrated it live at Madison Square Garden, leaving the crowd in awe. But the story doesn't end there. In May 1899, Tesla headed to Colorado Springs, Colorado, where he stayed until early 1900. It was here that he made what he considered his most important discovery, terrestrial stationary waves. With this, he proved that the Earth could be used as a conductor and made to resonate at a specific electrical frequency. Imagine lighting 200 lamps wirelessly from 40 kilometers away, or creating man-made lightning with flashes measuring 41 meters. When 1900 came, Tesla took on an ambitious and challenging project with the use of some money, approximately $150,000 from the American financier J. Pierpont Morgan, to construct a wireless world broadcasting tower on Long Island. He secured the loan by assigning 51% of his patent rights for telephony and telegraphy to Morgan, which might not have been a very good decision for that time. Tesla envisioned a future where this tower would provide worldwide communication, sending pictures, messages, weather warnings, and stock reports to every corner of the globe. But fate had other plans. Due to a financial panic, labor troubles, and Morgan's withdrawal of support, the project was abandoned, marking Tesla's greatest defeat. Despite this setback, Tesla didn't stop innovating, something he truly loved doing despite everything. He turned his attention to turbines and other intriguing projects. However, without sufficient funds, Many of his groundbreaking ideas remained confined to his notebooks, which continued to captivate enthusiasts searching for unexplored clues. In 1915, Tesla faced another disappointment when a rumored Nobel Prize shared with Edison turned out to be false. However, in 1917, he received the Edison Medal, the highest honor from the American Institute of Electrical Engineers. After Tesla passed away, the custodian of alien property seized his trunks filled with papers, diplomas, honors, letters, and laboratory notes. These invaluable items eventually found their way to Tesla's nephew, Sava Kosanovich, and are now preserved in the Nikola Tesla Museum in Belgrade. Hundreds gathered at New York City's Cathedral of St. John the Divine for his funeral, and tributes poured in, acknowledging the loss of a brilliant mind. Three Nobel Prize winners honored Tesla as one of the outstanding intellects of the world who paved the way for many of the technological developments of modern times. Tesla had an uncanny ability to sense hidden scientific secrets and used his inventive genius to bring his hypotheses to life. He was a favorite among reporters seeking sensational stories, though editors often grappled with how seriously to take his futuristic predictions. 
Tesla faced sharp criticism for his speculations on communicating with other planets, claims of splitting the Earth like an apple, and his infamous death ray capable of destroying 10,000 airplanes from 250 miles away. Now, with a lifetime of achievements and discoveries, it is safe to say Tesla has been one of the most significant personalities of all time, contributing to science in a way never been done before. However, it is important to notice that the complete impact and effect of his discoveries and inventions are still being explored and discovered today. One of his most important discoveries that was not really appreciated as much as it should have been at that time was his fascination with light, energy, and frequency. In fact, his fascination with light and energy did not just end there since he truly believed they were the key to the answers to the universe and every mystery it holds. Tesla's Relation to Religion The topic of Tesla's religious beliefs is one shrouded in mystery and seemingly contradicting statements. But are they really contradictory? Raised in an Orthodox Christian home, you would think Tesla would grow up to be a devout Christian himself. However, no definitive answer could be given, especially when he wrote articles such as The Problem of Increasing Human Energy. This article was one with a lot of clarifying, yet confusing statements from Tesla. On one hand, you would see him showing his respect for both Buddhism and Christianity, preaching about oneness and unity. On the other, you would see him criticizing organized religion with snide statements throughout his life. His views seemed to shift towards Buddhism when he would talk about everything being one and coming from a single source, saying, Can anyone doubt today that all the millions of individuals and all the innumerable types and characters constitute an entity, a unit? Though free to think and act, we are held together, like the stars in the firmament, with ties inseparable. On the other hand, he would say things that would skew his orientation in favor of Christianity, saying, The gift of mental power comes from God, divine being, and if we concentrate our minds on that truth, we became in tune with this great power. My mother had taught me to seek all truth in the Bible, therefore I devoted the next few months to the study of this work. Despite his haphazardly thrown statements, one thing became clear. He did not agree with organized religion, but had a fascination with the inner workings of God and how the functionality of God is in everyone, acting as their source works. This led to him forming rather controversial yet mind-bending opinions based on his discoveries. Now, what do his discoveries have to do with religion, specifically the Bible? Firstly, he concluded that the miracles performed by Jesus in the Bible were not miracles per se, but tangible proofs of a very advanced level of knowledge about the universe. He believed that Jesus, through divine intervention, used scientific knowledge to perform acts that were then described as impossible. This led to people believing the acts themselves were magic and divine assistance, while Tesla thought these were mere representations of things that can be done once people truly understand the universe and what it is made of. What about Tesla's views on God? Well, according to his interview with John Smith from the American magazine, Immortality, he had an interesting exposition to give about the creator of everything. The interview was a cesspool of interesting insight, with the journalist diving into Tesla's thoughts on everything being light and energy. Mr. Smith implored Tesla to explain what he meant when he said he does not see light just as a physical phenomenon, but as the essence of all existence. Mr. Smith, you are the light, as is every creature, Tesla had said once and for all. The journalist was flattered but perplexed at this and couldn't help but question Tesla more about this. His response was simple, yet profound. Why should you understand, Mr. Smith? Just believe it. He went on to explain that everything is light, each ray containing the fate of nations, and that those who have passed away aren't truly gone. What happened to them instead? According to Tesla, they transformed into light. Is this resurrection? Mr. Smith had asked in return. Tesla preferred to call it a return to previous energy. He then spoke of Christ and others who had unlocked this secret and revealed his own research into preserving human energy as a form of light. Clearly, Tesla was quite serious about light being the source of everything. This was not for his own benefit, but for the betterment of humanity, to make life more bearable and spiritually enriched. The interviewer also went on to ask if time could be blocked. To this, 
Tesla had a different view, stating that energy is in a constant state of transformation. However, he suggested that consciousness could persist beyond earthly life, hinting at a form of immortality rooted in the spiritual fabric of the universe. Here, Tesla's views on the afterlife were cleared, showing that he indeed believed in a life beyond the death of the flesh. When asked, what is the question that haunts you, Mr. Tesla? He spoke about the fate of falling stars, the extinguishing sun, stars scattering like seeds across worlds, and suns spreading their essence into new forms of light. His opinion was that it was all part of the universe's grand design, where even the smallest stars are preserved. Another interesting insight came to light when the interviewer asked, what does this mean for us? In response, Tesla spoke about his belief in humanity understanding their highest goal, which is to chase and catch a falling star. Moreover, he said that when they realize their purpose, they will be saved, and that this chase is the essence of life. Then, Tesla was inquired about his theory of cosmic pain, where he said that cosmic pain is a disease most are unaware of. It is a source of human suffering and absurdity, because it is interconnected with the fabric of our existence. When someone suffers, we all feel it because our souls are linked. The interview demonstrated that Tesla had special views about religion and how it interfered with our lives. In his opinion, science further explained the aspects of religion that were previously hidden in mystery, for example, life after death. What was so shocking about his discoveries, though? Cosmic Energy of Ether One of the most famous quotes of Tesla noted today is, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, Think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. This is not a coincidence as Tesla himself believed that his work on frequency, light, and energy was way more significant than it was being given credit for during his time. When Tesla described the theory of cosmic pain, some shocking revelations came to light. But first, what drives cosmic pain? Once, scientists widely believed in the concept of the ether, also known as ether. The means pure, fresh air, or clear sky, and in Greek mythology, it was considered the pure essence that the gods breathed, filling the space where they lived, similar to the air mortals breathe. This hypothetical substance was thought to fill all of space and serve as the medium through which electromagnetic radiation, like light, propagated. In ancient and medieval science, ether was believed to be the fifth element, or quintessence, that filled the universe beyond the Earth. This concept was used to explain various natural phenomena, including the propagation of light and gravity. By the late 19th century, physicists suggested that ether permeated space, acting as a medium for light to travel through a vacuum. However, the famous Michelson-Morley experiment found no evidence of such a medium, leading to the conclusion that the luminiferous ether did not exist. Surprisingly, the experiment found no evidence of an ether wind. This result was so perplexing that subsequent experiments with increasingly precise instruments also failed to detect any trace of the ether. In light of these findings, renowned scientists, including Albert Einstein, Max Planck, and Niels Bohr, had to reconsider their understanding of physics. They developed new theories and equations that did not rely on the existence of a medium like the ether to explain the propagation of electromagnetic waves in space. Despite this shift, some physicists such as Tesla still believe that the ether is a critical, though elusive, component for explaining the wave nature of matter. They envision it as a medium composed of tiny granules that transfer energy in the form of waves, forming the very fabric of the universe. This ether is thought to have a density property that appears in energy wave equations, making it essential for certain theoretical calculations. Tesla believed that everything in the universe was at the mercy of energy and frequency, and that ether was just one of the key components that would solidify our understanding of the universe. This assumption led him to heavily propagate the theory of resonance and draw real-life parallels between vibration and frequency. The Role of Resonance According to Tesla, everything is light. In one of its rays is the destiny of the nations. Each nation has its own ray in that great source of light which we see like the sun. And remember, there is no man who has existed and who has not died. Now, what is resonance? At its heart, resonance is when one thing vibrates in sync with another. Think of a child on a trampoline. If you jump at just the right moment, the trampoline moves effortlessly, perfectly in tune with the child's motion. 
This idea of resonance shows up in many parts of our daily lives. Tesla was obsessed with the resonant frequency and vibration of everything. He believed that every atom, particle, and cell had a vibration of its own triggered by specific frequencies. One such frequency was 369 hertz, which Tesla believed was the key to the universe. For him, the universe was not a set of different separate objects, but rather a vast interconnected system. In this system, the key connecting bit was the energy that flowed between each element in an infinite cycle. This energy could be cosmic energy such as cosmic ether or radiant energy, through which people could perform actual miracles. For Tesla to prove this, he would conduct different experiments with resonant frequencies involving the use of vibrations. What if a simple experiment could shake an entire city? Picture a frantic and obsessed Nikola Tesla casually attaching a small vibrator to an iron column in his New York City lab. He watches, fascinated, as various pieces of equipment in the room begin to jiggle. But what happens when he changes the frequency and the jiggle shifts to another part of the room? Little did he know the iron column stretches down into the building's foundation, transmitting vibrations all over Manhattan. Unbeknownst to Tesla, he had inadvertently started a minor earthquake, shattering windows, swaying buildings, and sending his neighbors into a frenzy. This wasn't the first time the police had responded to complaints about Tesla's unusual experiments. But what was it about resonance that so captivated him? Although Tesla wasn't the first to discover resonance, his obsession led to some of the most astonishing demonstrations ever seen. From mechanical to electrical resonance, he explored it all. How did he manage to create an artificial earthquake, spark artificial lightning storms, knock an entire power plant offline in Colorado, and nearly collapse the steel frame of a skyscraper under construction in Manhattan? While Tesla mostly studied how things vibrate with electricity and magnetism, he was also curious about how these vibrations affected living things. He focused on Earth's natural vibrations, called the Schumann resonance, and how sunlight affects living creatures, the earlier research looked at how humans react to natural and man-made electromagnetic fields. Scientists mainly wanted to see how these fields affect acupuncture meridians and brain activity. Some believe that the Schumann resonance, a natural vibration in the Earth's atmosphere, is really good for plants, animals, and people. These studies found that frequencies similar to the Schumann resonance, between 8.8 .8 and 13.2 Hz, seem to match up with human body signals. This suggests that our bodies react to natural electromagnetic signals in the environment, like those from the Earth's vibrations. During this research, it was discovered that the vibrations of proteins and DNA align with the wavelengths of sunlight, spanning from infrared to ultraviolet. This idea was originally sparked by Tesla's insight that sunlight triggers the transformation of inorganic matter into organic forms. Sunlight's electromagnetic energy has long been known to provide sustenance to life on Earth. The specificity of these biological processes is guided by the information encoded in DNA and proteins. DNA holds the complete blueprint of an organism, while proteins interpret and execute specific functions based on this genetic information. According to the Resonant Recognition Model RRM, these interactions between macromolecules rely on electromagnetic resonance, akin to the varying frequencies of sunlight. By applying the RRM, we can pinpoint the frequencies crucial for activating specific biological functions of proteins and DNA. In simple terms, Tesla was right. Using resonance, frequency and energy, we can very well manipulate matter, DNA, and maybe even space and time one day. Additionally, Tesla understood that resonance could be harnessed to transmit and receive radio messages long before Marconi. He was convinced that energy could be transmitted wirelessly, so off he went, investing a fortune in a demonstration project. He built a colossal Tesla coil in Colorado Springs, creating spectacular lightning shows with electrical resonance, but it never went on the commercial shorelines and ended up as a failure. Although Tesla's relentless pursuit of his vision left him penniless and he died a poor man, he discovered something interesting. He found out about the specialty of certain frequencies focused on numbers such as 3, 6, and 9. This can be seen today with treatments such as quantum resonance therapy QRT, to heal the faulty frequencies of the body at a cellular level. Despite his groundbreaking work in transmitting radio signals through frequency tuning,
the U.S. Patent Office awarded Guglielmo Marconi, an Italian researcher based in England, a patent for radio invention. Reasonably, Tesla was indignant. Marconi's subsequent Nobel Prize win in 1911 dealt a crushing blow to Tesla, who, despite lacking the financial means, attempted to sue the Marconi company for infringement. Tragically, it wasn't until after Tesla's passing that the U.S. Supreme Court upheld his radio patent number 645576. Tesla's unconventional experiments and groundbreaking discoveries regarding resonance and frequency were often a subject of ridicule and skepticism. According to records, Tesla also intercepted a repeating signal one night, leading him to speculate about extraterrestrial communication. While some conspiracy theorists claim Tesla communicated with aliens, it's more plausible that he was the first to detect radio waves from space. Despite facing ridicule and financial setbacks, Tesla remained steadfast in his vision of a technologically advanced future. He was the one who foresaw a world interconnected through wireless communication with a system capable of transmitting messages and broadcasting news, music, and images across oceans. And today, that world is a reality. What are your thoughts on the subject? Don't forget to let us know in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time.